guys, I hope that you are having a wonderful Sunday. It's been a while since I filmed from this vantage point, um, but the light is coming in a really odd direction into my kitchen right now. Um, the seasons are changing, sun's going down earlier, so this is where we're gonna film from. So I apologize if the camera's a bit wobbly, uh, this table wobbles. So we're just gonna have to bear with it. But I have had kind of a challenging day. I'm not complaining, it was good. I got a lot of good work done. I have more work to do after this, but I just needed to take some time to do something I enjoy, which is film for all of you lovely folks. So we're gonna do a Sunday fun day video. And I'm not gonna bang on the table because it will shake again, but we'll sing our song. Sunday fun day, better than a Monday, can only do it one way and that is the drunk way. And who knows, it could happen, because today we're reviewing wine. Haven't done that in a while, but um, we have done some like canned wine reviews. Got a full bottle today. And uh, looking pretty cool and a little bit sinister, because we've got Snoop Dogg, or Snoop Lion whatever you refer to him as. It is the 19 Crimes Cali Red, and they partnered with Snoop Dogg on this. And it is a whopping 14.1% alcohol by volume. So that's why I preface this the way I did. It's a little bit intimidating. So let's read a bit about it. It says 19 Crimes tells the true story of rule breakers who beat the odds overcame adversity, and went on to become folk heroes in their society. This spirit lives on today through innovators and culture creators like Callie's own Snoop Dogg. A leader in contemporary pop culture, Snoop embodies the timeless values of the 19 crimes rogues who came before him. To learn more about this and similar stories, please visit us at 19crimes.com. So it's a red wine and it's from California. That seems pretty obvious. Uh, more specifically, it is from Sonoma. Cool. Okay, let's get this open. Ooh, it has a real cork. I always love a real cork. Who else saves real corks? I have been for a very long time with the idea of creating a wine bottle cork cork board out of them all. I think I probably have enough, just have never gotten around to it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I should give a shout out to my friend, Lori Underwood. Uh, you all saw her in my pizza rolls video. If you haven't seen that, um, I'll put it in the ticker up there. You should go check it out. Um, she's super funny and lovely, and we wanted to review this wine together. She sent a picture to me, but of course, you know, times are kind of crazy. Like, I wouldn't mind meeting with one person and spending time with them as long as you're like limiting exposure. But regardless, uh, we're very busy, work is strange, such is life. So I'm just gonna review it by myself. Not as entertaining as it would be with her. Sorry. Love that sound. All right, let's get a good whiff of this. Mmm, I haven't had red wine in forever. You may know, I think I've mentioned it in my videos, but I've been drinking a lot of hard seltzers lately because it's less calories, right? Lower alcohol too, which is probably good. But today feels like a wine day. Oh no, I got cork in there. Oh well. Usually I would fish that out with my finger, but I don't feel like being gross for you guys. Okay. I don't know if you can see the legs on that. They're very thin, which means it's a dry wine. That's why you swirl it. I think I've mentioned this before. So you can see the legs. And it releases the aroma, it oxidizes it. I actually have one of those like pop in oxidizers. I don't know why I don't use it. it smells dry. It smells cherry. It's 
very fruity, but very dry. I want to start just like listing off random things that it doesn't really smell like, just to be ridiculous. Like, it smells like pennies. That actually is a thing I think sometimes they say in wine tasting. <laughs> cool. Hmm. Okay, let's just try it. <clears throat> so it immediately like pulls the moisture out of your mouth, which isn't unpleasant. I'm not complaining. It's extremely tart, but decent, uh, decently sweet, surprisingly. Just like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of cherry undertone. I really hope you can't hear the screaming in the background. Blake is watching that TV show. I think it's called Evil. Really likes it. Hey Ben, stop doing what you're doing. It's making noises under the table. Come here. The people wanna see you, my friend. Say hello. How was your day, Ben? Yeah, was it a good day? Yeah, tell me about it. Ooh, we discovered something fun recently. So apparently dogs can have fruit in moderation. Has to be moderation because of the sugar. But Ben likes strawberries. Yeah. Oh, and raspberries. Ooh, schnurf. Which are, raspberries are apparently good for dogs' joints. So that's been fun. Little fruit eating dog. Mmm, mmm, okay. So. Put them back down. What do I think of this? I give it a solid five out of five. I think I've shared with you all, I'm terrible at rating things on the heat index. Pretty good at rating whether I like something or not. And I would definitely drink this again. It wasn't too spendy. I'm actually drawing a total blank but I think it's like a $10 bottle of wine, which might be less expensive or more expensive depending on where you live. But I think it was about $10 here. Uh, pretty decent. Yeah, especially for the price. And I like this matte finish they have on the bottle. You don't need to bark, buddy. Oh, neighbor boy's riding his bike. Okay guys, well I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope that you crack open a bottle of wine, a can of soda, seltzer water, whatever it is you enjoy. Maybe turn on some Snoop Dogg. Maybe you prefer reggae, so you're gonna listen to some Snoop Lion. Maybe you just like cooking, so you're gonna watch him hang out with Martha Stewart. I don't really know. Um, but I do recommend this wine. And with that, I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, wishing you all a wonderful day. Bye.